Mm-hmm. Now, all you got to do is do your little Googling. And so all your celebrities, 90% of them died overdose. Wow. That ought to tell you something. On drugs. That's how they died. I, I, I was preaching a good sermon on a lot of them. <laughs> I'd have messed it up. I'd have messed a good sermon up, look like, because all y'all looking. Anytime you want some, you could ask me anything about what I said. You can call me on the phone and ask me if you want. Anytime. You don't ask nobody else, you can ask me. And then I'll, I'll show you. And if you can prove to me that they go to heaven, then we need to shut the church down. And, and y'all need to be pursuing y'all career. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all need to go pursue a career and take care of yourself. Whatever it is, it don't matter what it is, dancing with the devil. <laughs> do, yeah, show it. What's the problem? Do whatever you want to do, and then when you die, you're going to go to heaven. Because you accept Jesus, and you went to church, and you were all right. Just, you love God loves me and grace. You know? Now, if that's true, then everything in the Bible is wrong. Because you're supposed to be judged for every deed, everything you've done when you stand before the Lord. Now, you don't have no witness with your life to bring people to Christ. Everything you've done led them to dance, sing, sex, everything. And then now you say you're going to heaven. Lord, Lord, you're going to be so judgment. Poor people. Y'all need to pray. We got to take communion because it's a quarter to 12 and we got to get you out of here. We need to go to communion, but I just wanted to share it. I hadn't said nothing about it because I just, I listen. What disturbed me is the Facebook people. Because that means you don't have no kind of understanding of what's right. And the poor churches don't have no understanding either. But I'm very, I'm encouraging one way with all that that the end is near. Because God said, the very elect going to be deceived if he don't shorten the time here. Because well, what I just told you and what people believe and the TV programs and all, the very elect going to be deceived. People who were on their way to heaven going to be deceived in a little while. Because if you're not going to be to stand up, you can just go with the flow. So God going to have to shorten the time to keep those that do believe, there's a few that believe righteous and live right and all. There's a few, but it's only a few because the, the people like to follow the crowd. So they, they're going to go with the crowd if you don't shorten it. So what I mean, the dead in Christ going to rise. We that alive and man, we're going to be caught up to be with the Lord. He's going to take his people out because it's only a few left, so they don't need to be suffering because you still want to play and you still going, come on, son, turn with me. Turn to me when I'm talking. Turn to me. Y'all get your conversation on outside. Amen? Amen? Talk to me. Got that? Amen. Got your attention? Huh? In other words, you got to shorten the time now. That's why I know Christ is going to come and take his church out. Because if he don't, even those that do believe are going to be deceived. Because the pressure is going to be on you. The pressure's on now. You don't see many men even talk. They're not going to, they can't do that if they got these mega churches. They can't say that because they got to have a certain amount of money coming in now. If they get up and say that, you going to, them people are liberal people. They believe everybody is all right. So they're going to walk out on you, babe. They're going to withdraw their money. And if I got these a thousand dollars of bills come in or a million dollar budget I got to come up with a million dollars every month to pay off I can't do that because if the people stop coming the church dry up so you can't say this don't expect them to say what I'm telling you they cannot say that